everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Canning Nana. Today I'm in a collaboration with some of my other sister canners and we are doing what's called what I will and will not can again. So I'm going to start off with what I will can um, and we're going to just go through some of my cans. So some of my favorites are our ham and bean soup. This is one of our favorite things to can. This cans up really well. Something that my husband does. We love this. This is a staple in our house. Usually we make this for holidays and then I will can this up. This is my canned pozzoli. I have a video on this. Um, this cans up really well. And then we just heat it up in a pot and uh, add radishes and celery and some cilantro and good to go for dinner. This is my canned pasta sauce. I do this in two different sizes, in pints and then the one and a half pints, the big size, and I do quarts also. Um, I do a lot of this at one time. We go through a lot of pasta sauce. This has no meat inside. Um, one of the things that I do not like, uh, I make my own homemade meatballs and I do not like uh, canning the meatballs in the sauce. It does not taste right to me. So I do that on the side. I make fresh meatballs, fresh Italian sausage, and then I serve that with my homemade pasta sauce. So um, I either do that fresh or I still can my meatballs in food saver bags and the sausage as well, or make it fresh. I don't like the texture of the meatballs in the sauce. It just doesn't come out right. On to vegetables. Um, this is my canned green beans. These are garden green beans with some mushrooms and um, some lemon flavor. Let's see, lemon zest, I believe. I didn't mark this can. Um, I have a video on this too. This is uh, seasoned pepper, lemon zest, and mushrooms, I believe. Really good. This is my canned corn, one of our favorites and our staples. I make... Uh, my corn cob jelly and canned corn at the same time. I have a video on that. Another staple is my raw pack carrots. I do not like cooked carrots. They come out too mushy. These are um, these are great. I use I go through a lot of carrots. Uh, use these in soups and stews all the time and as a side dish. My garden green beans. These are another staple. Uh, I do these in two sizes. I didn't want to dig out my quart jars, but I do these in quarts. Um, use these a lot in soups too. But for side dishes, I use the pint jars. And we're a family of three, but I also have my three granddaughters here um, once a week on Thursday nights. And so I do the quarts um, in casseroles. And usually I do the quarts when they're here. They love the garden green beans. Um, oh, I pulled out two of the same ones. I do seasoned green beans uh, without the mushrooms, and I thought I pulled out those, but these are the seasoned with the lemon and the mushrooms again. I thought I pulled out a different one. This is uh, gapanata. This is um, zucchini and peppers and tomatoes and onions fried up and cooked and then canned. This is pressure canned. And I use this on pasta or as a side dish. Um, this is really good on pasta. Uh, instead of sauce, this comes out really well. It's one of my favorites, one of our favorites. Okay, and then we go on to beans. These are our white beans used in uh, chicken chili or uh, regular chili. Pinto beans, another staple. We do a lot of these. We go through a lot of beans. Um, we use these in taco salads, as well as the black beans. Um, I, I thought I pulled out some of those. I guess I didn't. We have a lot of black beans, pinto beans, white beans, red beans, and 15 beans that I'm about to show you. Make a lot of refried beans with these. Put these in chili, as well as the red beans here. Um, these are really good. We all, I also make refried beans out of the red beans. They come out really well, as well as put them with rice for red beans and rice. 
This is my 15 bean soup mix. I add um, some water with this, some uh, chicken broth, and make some chicken minestrone or some Italian sausage minestrone soup with this. This is fabulous. Um, it's great. This is great. This is um, great for camping, too. I use this a lot for camping. This is my Mrs. Wages uh, salsa, and this is very chunky. This is one of the batches that I just did up this summer. We picked 170 pounds, or maybe a little bit over, of Roma tomatoes. And I made, um, oh gosh, probably about 18 pints, I think, of the salsa. And about 30 quarts of the Roma tomatoes that are all canned up. These are beautiful tomatoes. I love canning tomatoes. It's one of my favorite things because when you open the jar, it smells just like they are picked directly from the garden. Just garden fresh. They smell just wonderful. Some of my other go-to staples, thanks to Linda's Pantry. This is how I used to can chicken, and I still do. Um, raw pack chicken in water or in better than bouillon broth. Um, I put some bouillon in there and I just raw pack it, but I also pre-cook it now, thanks to Linda at Linda's Pantry, and they come out in these chunks, and they don't mess up with your, your jars, and, and they're just beautiful. And we use these in, um, in stews, and in tacos, in chicken salad, in enchiladas. Oh my gosh, the, the possibilities are endless, and they the chunks now look, I stirred it all up, but it looks really good. Um, and nobody can tell that they're from the can, uh, the jar. Um, the, ch the raw pack chicken makes the best chicken salad ever. And again, nobody knows that they're canned chicken. Um, tastes better than chicken you would buy at the store, and it's much cheaper. You buy the chicken on sale. Really good. If you haven't canned chicken, uh, if you haven't canned meat, if you have a pressure canner, please try to can your meat. It is so good. This is our canned pork. I use it again in um, sandwiches, pulled pork, and also in soups and stews. And I do canned hot dogs. If you haven't tried hot dogs, I'm going to be doing a video on that. A lot of people don't do hot dogs. These are fabulous. We take these on picnics. They taste like barbecued hot dogs. They are wonderful. Very, very easy to do. This is turkey breakfast sausage. Um, yes, they taste good. If you haven't tried them, they're really good. Um, the pork breakfast sausage tastes just as good. They're, they're not bad at all. They're good for camp. Um, I can my own pickled garlic. I don't know how many other people do that, but this is something that I do. They look beautiful. They taste beautiful. I love pickled garlic. This is my chicken broth. Um, this is this is a bone broth. It's this is so good. Learned this from Linda's pantry. Also, learned a lot from her. She was one of the first channels I ever subscribed to. And I have learned so much from her. Thank you, Linda, for inspiring me. These are uh, dill pickles, and these are uh, sliced. Now, this is something that we don't go through as much as I thought we would, and I canned a bunch of these. And we use them, but we don't use them as much as we do the spears. So these are wonderful. Um, this is a few years old. I got honorable mention back in... Um, this is 2013. I just won a first place award for these um, this year. And uh, they're really good. You put them in the refrigerator and they firm up and they're very crunchy. So these are some of my go-to and what I am famous for around here with my friends and family. This is my corn cob jelly. Now this I usually can't keep in stock. Um, I do have a recipe, 
and a video on this. Um, this is really good if you haven't tried it. It tastes like honey. Um, the longer you keep it on the shelf, the better it gets and the more it tastes like honey. Really good. If you haven't tried it, please look at my video and give it a try. This came out of my refrigerator. It's half gone. This I cannot keep on my shelf. This is lemon curd. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this very soon. If you haven't tried this, um, stay tuned for my video. I also do orange curd. I will teach you how to make this if you haven't tried it. This is just lovely on toast. You can make tarts with this. Um, this is a staple in our house and I sell a lot of this stuff to friends and, and neighbors. Um, give it away. It's wonderful. I make blueberry lemon jam. I make a lot of jams. Blueberry with no sugar. This is my regular blueberry jam. I make a lot of jams and jellies. My apricot. This is spice peach. Um, this was on request for my sister-in-law. It was the first time that I had ever made it, and this was last year. And I will be making another batch this year. I always made just regular peach jam before, and this came so wonderful. Um, I had never had it before. It just, oh, the taste. I will never make regular uh, peach jam again. This just came so well. This is my raspberry jam. Love raspberries. Also do strawberry, but I'm out of stock of that right now. These are my canned peaches right here. These are wonderful too. These come from Little Rock. These are Yellowstone peaches. These are out of my backyard. These are canned oranges. These are navel oranges. And these are canned in simple syrup. These are also oranges. And these are canned in just water. Um, I didn't like the way that these came out. I won't be doing these again. Uh, not in water. These, there's something on the jar that, that's not inside. Um, I didn't, these were not uh, as sweet, and navel oranges are very sweet, ours are. Um, but I didn't like the way that they came out in water. In simple syrup, very, very light syrup I did these in, and they came out just wonderfully. This is apple pie filling. We're going to be going up to Oak Glen and getting some more apples. I did these um, just a few months ago. A friend of mine, uh, Rosanna, my best friend, did these for me last year, and I tried them, and I did a few jars, and um, these came out just wonderfully. Hers were better than mine, um, and I'm going to try a different recipe, uh, going up to Oak Glen to uh, do apple picking very soon, and... Um, going to try a new recipe and give these out for Christmas. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, some of the things that I didn't like. First off, this jar is getting thrown away, but I wanted to show you. I canned sweet potatoes. Can't tell. I cooked them first. I want to can sweet potatoes again. The next time I do, I will not be cooking them first. I will be doing a raw pack. I also want to try to uh, do potatoes. I've never done that before. But sweet potatoes, don't cook them before you do it. They just turned to absolute mush. I opened a couple jars and um, they just disintegrated. And as you can see, these just disintegrated. So if you want mashed sweet potatoes, that's the way to do it. But um, yeah, not good. Here are some of the jams that I don't like that I tried. Peach vanilla jam, a peach vanilla cinnamon actually. And I used some extracts in here this is peach jam with vanilla and then cinnamon extract and um, overpowering, not good, didn't, didn't work. Hot dog sauce, hot dog sauce um, ketchup. I liked this, my family didn't care for it and we've got several jars of this so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I liked it and my grandkids liked it so, um, but I won't be doing it again because the majority of my family don't like it. Peach almond. Um, this is peach jam uh, with almond extract. Again, I liked it. It wasn't too overpowering for me, but the majority of my family didn't like it. So I won't be doing that one again. And then this, 
the last one that I actually have a jar of is my sweet chili sauce. This came really good, but we have not used the, the jars. Um, and I made this for a friend. I made a batch up for him. He picked up a dozen jars, and I made myself a dozen jars because he said that it was really, really good. And um, I really don't know what to do with it. So um, we've used it for um, egg roll sauce and because it's, it is sweet, and it, it came really good. If anybody has suggestions on what to use this for, I would really appreciate it because I've got 12 jars in there. Um, so, yeah, otherwise I won't be making this again. Now, some of the other things that I can but I don't have in stock are chicken soup, minestrone soup, um, stew, regular chili, chicken chili, tomatillo sauce, pesto sauce, um, beef chunks, beef broth, and some of the things that I don't like, monkey butter. Um, monkey butter didn't stay shelf stable for me. I followed the directions. It came fabulous. I loved the taste of it. Um, tasted like that the baby food Hawaiian delight. I really, really enjoyed it. So did my family. But then it started getting brown on the top after a couple months and um, didn't like it. So if I make it again, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, even though it's sealed, and um, and we'll just keep it there. Um, the sliced pickles, I already said I they came great, but we just don't use them enough. Um, ground Italian sausage, didn't like that. Um, ground beef, I'm out of. I did like that. Pre-cooked ground beef, I, I will use that. Uh, ground turkey, didn't care for that. Um, colored carrots, our farmer's market has the tri-colored carrots, the different carrots, the different colored carrots in a bunch. And um, they were mushy. They, um, I did the raw pack and I care for those. Um, I'm gonna stick with just the regular carrots. They worked really well for me. And then, as I said, the pre-cooked um, sweet potatoes. So that is what I like and what I didn't like on my canning so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and a little bit about me and what I like to can and what I don't like to can. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and follow me on my journey of canning. Thank you for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.